You are welcome to Wisdom for Singles and Married with Samuel Olagbin Jo. Uh, this program runs from Monday to Friday on this page by 7 p.m. daily. So tell your friend, tell your loved one. Uh, don't forget to share our video with your loved one. Don't forget to make comments. Don't forget to ask us any question concerning your relationship and marriage. I will surely attend to you. Today we are discussing about five major secrets that will make you a great husband. Five major secrets that will make you a great husband. If you want to be a great husband, come nearer. You need to watch this video. If you want to fight for your marriage, build the marriage of your dream. If you want to bring the best out of your marriage, your wife, you need to watch this video to the end. No matter what thing you need to do if you want to be a great husband, you must be available for your wife. You must be available for your wife. One of the major needs of your wife is attention. If you, can't, if you can't give that attention to your wife, you can't get the best out of your wife. You must intentionally create time for your wife. Don't be too busy. Don't be too busy for your wife. You must create time for your wife. You must make your wife your priority. If you must succeed in marriage, you must make your marriage number one. After God, be totally committed to your marriage. If you are committed to your career, to your work, to your phone, to your social media, at the expense of your marriage, you will soon destroy your marriage. So you must be committed to your wife. You must be available for your wife. That is why you need to get a job that will make you have time for your family. You need to get a job that will make you have time for your family. Not every job is good for family life. Not every job is good for marriage. The plan of God is for couples to be together in the same country, in the same state, in the same house, in the same room, sleep on the same bed. If you are living in UK and your wife is in, uh, is in Nigeria, that's not marriage. That's not marriage. You must intentionally create time for your wife. Get a job that will make you have time for your family. Don't accept any job. Don't accept any job that will kill your intimacy, that will kill your marriage, that will destroy your home. So be available for your wife. Try as much as possible to avoid any, any kind of job that will kill your marital destiny. So if you want to be a great husband, you must intentionally create time for your wife. Number two, number two thing you need to do, you must be faithful to your wife. You must be faithful to your wife. I do tell people that marriage is not where you begin to sleep around. If you cannot be faithful in marriage, don't get married. Marriage is for faithful people. Marriage is for faithful people. You, once you get married, you are only allowed to make love with your wife for the rest of your life. That's why you must learn faithfulness before you get married. You must learn to keep yourself before you get married. No self before marriage. And if you get married, only make love with your wife for the rest of your life. Adultery is a destroyer of marriage. The easiest way to kill yourself, to destroy your marriage, is to begin to is to start sleeping around. Many men have lost their life, they have lost their destiny because of adultery. So if you want to be a great husband, you must learn to be faithful to your wife. There is no moral justification for adultery. There's no moral, there's no excuse for adultery. If you're having sex issue in your marriage, you can discuss with your wife. Both of you should sit down and discuss about it. And if you cannot undo it, you can get a, a, a professional marriage counselor. You can go for therapy. 
So many couple have come to me, you know, about the marital, uh, about the sex life. And after therapy, they're enjoying their sex life today. So instead of you sitting on your wife, you know, you need to sit down with your wife. You need to get a therapy. So there is no moral justification for sleeping around. So be faithful to your life. Be faithful to your wife. Learn to be content with your wife. Learn to be content with your wife. Adultery can shatter love, can destroy marriage, can destroy home. Adultery can lead to holy grief. So you must be faithful. You must be faithful if you want to build an excellent marriage. The next point. The next thing you need to do if you want to be a great husband, you must learn to support your wife's career. You must learn to support your wife's career. Don't sweep your, your, your wife's dream and passion under the carpet because she is married to you. You must learn to be excited about your wife's dream and passion in life. Your, your woman's progress should not be a threat to you. Your woman's progress should not be a threat to you. God didn't bring your wife into your life for you to destroy her dream and passion in life. So learn to support your wife's dream and passion. That's why you need to ask your wife, what is your dream in life? What do you want to become in life? And give your wife your own dress support. Unconditionally support your wife. Let her pursue her dream. Let her pursue her, her, her passion in life. So listen to your wife about her dream and passion in life. So one of the ways to be a great husband is to support your wife unconditionally. Both of you should work together and fulfill your glorious destiny. The next point, the next thing you need to do for you to be a great husband is to try as much as possible to say beautiful word to your wife. Learn to say beautiful word to your wife. When last do you tell your wife that you are beautiful? Women are moved by word the year. When last do you tell your wife you are the most beautiful woman in the whole world? Never abuse your wife. Never abuse your wife emotionally. So learn to say beautiful words to your wife and let her buy a gift for your wife at least once in a month. Make it your habit. When you are coming back from work, from office, don't only buy a gift for your children. As you are buying for your children, also buy for your wife. This is one of the ways to be a great husband. Learn to buy a gift for your wife at least once in a month. Once in a month. Because one of the major complaints of women is that, you know, my wife, my, my husband doesn't buy me a gift. I can't remember the last time my husband buy a gift for me. So try to buy a gift for your wife at least once in a month. The next point, how to be a great husband. Learn to pray for your wife, wife always. Learn to pray for your wife always, always. One of the greatest gifts you can give to your wife is to pray for her always. Is to pray for your wife always. Your wife is your number one destiny helper. If you want to fulfill your destiny as a man, you must learn to pray for your wife. Many men don't pray for, you, for their wife. If you call a prayer meeting now for men to come and pray for their, for their wife, <laughs> you may not see any man. But when it comes to a financial, uh, 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 financial program, financial conference, you will see men. But when, when it comes to praying for their wives, you know, men are nowhere to be found. You can make a difference as a man. Learn to pray for your wife always. Learn to pray. So many men don't pray for their wife, but you can choose to pray for your wife. Your marriage is your first ministry. It's your first ministry. Your wife is your number one destiny helper. If you want to go far, if you want to fulfill destiny, learn to pray for your wife always. You are your, your wife's number one pastor. You are your wife's number one apostle. Learn to wake up in the midnight and pray for your wife, pray for your children. Don't be lazy spiritually. Don't be lazy. You must not be alive and your wife is running after pastor, running after this, running after this. 
because you are lazy spiritually. When last do you fast as a man? When last do you go to a mountain to pray for your family, to pray for your family? You must set your prayer life on fire. So one of the ways to be a great husband is to pray for your wife without ceasing. And as you do this thing, your marriage shall be the best. You will not fail as a man. You will not fail in the marriage in the name of Jesus. Let's stop here for today. Okay, for sponsorship and advert, you can call the number on the screen. And if there's any question you want to ask us, you can, you can send the number. Uh, uh, you can write it in the, in the comment section. You know, we will surely attend to you. Your marriage shall be the best. You will not fail in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to share this video with your friend, with your loved one. Don't forget to tell them about this program. And don't forget to follow this program. Your marriage will not fail in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.